So this oh, video is yeah, showing yeah. us has nothing to do with us. And okay. we have nothing on, on it again. So the man now asks us, do we think that maybe if we are living in an uh, environment and our neighbor is dirty and uh, uh, are we going to say we are not dirty? And I ask him, is a criminal is being caught in any streets and uh, maybe police arrested him. Does it mean that the whole people living with that, within that enclosure are criminals? He never answered that my question. Madam, listen to me. So I'm just explaining to you what I think you want to know what happened. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So that was what they said. They said if other sections are dead, that it has to do with Alaba. And I told them that we have a 16 sections in Alaba. That are having the autonomy, they have their leadership, they have the agreement based on the section with the Loma and their agents. That we the left electronic section, we are exceptional. We, are, we don't have even authority to influence any other section around us. That we are having up to 16 sections. And everybody is being treated based on the section where he found himself. So the man now said, okay, we are going to put up a letter which we will address to the MD, which we will address to the chief of staff, which we will address to uh, commissioner of uh, environment. We now told them that we don't have anything. We don't have uh, any writing materials. But before that woman that left, that Miss Abner, before she came back with the file, and when she came back with that file, she began to call the names of those that have violated their rule. And I want to tell you categorically that electronic stem was not involved. We are not among the people that they have penciled down that they will shut their market. But what people don't know is that this Alaba is made up of 16 sections. And each section is having autonomy. Each section is standing on its own. Each section has their own government. Each section is not influential to any other section. So on that note, we now told them that uh, electronics, we are not involved. So we left and came back. That's just what has happened. And uh, we came back and we still shut the markets. We are now appealing to them to come and open the market. Even they can come and see things by themselves. I have done some videos. I have some so taken some photoshops, uh, which I have sent to that uh, Mrs. Apenau. And uh, she replied to me. I said, okay, I should video our own drainage. I told her we don't have drainage. The section where we find ourselves does not have any drainage. So the area that have drainage has to do with another section of the market. And it, uh, we only have gutters. And the gutters we have, you can walk towards the front road. You see that it's covered, it's sealed up. So there is no way those uh, robots or those dates or those uh, uh, west will be entering our gutter because our gutter are sealed from the beginning of our section to the end of our section. So that is just what happened. Thank you very much. We are all Nigerians. And we are out of freedom to keep our rights to live in our palace. Do you think it's totally I see it as a retrenchment too. Because there are some sections surrounding this market that are so dirty, that are living in uh, in shanties, that are living doing business even in a in a kiosk, that even you cannot even assess the line. Yes. But they never did anything on that area. Yes. I don't know why they specifically want to attack us that are evils. Mm. Why is it so? Are we not the same Nigerian? Are we not paying? The, are we? Are we not having this? Are we not members of the same Nigeria? If they are telling us that we are not Nigerian, they should come up openly and tell us that we are not Nigerians. So they should treat us the way they treat other people. So there are other places that are even. Okay, yeah. even if you are going towards that Alaba Ragoro, you will find out that that place is a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a yeah. So if Nigeria is accepting all of us to be Nigeria, let everybody have a poor treatment. Yes. Please, can you tell me some of the sanitation measures? I know um, some of them is See, in this section of Alaba, we have a department, a committee, that is called Sanitation Department. They are saddled with anything that has to do with sanitizing the market. And I am telling you, yes, it's a group here. Yeah. And you do it every... We do it on daily basis. We do it on daily basis. But eventually you drink a few water and put the line on inside this your waist. They, they come and see, they will write you. They will write the number you pay. You pay, 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 pay. So we are doing it on every day. Then on every Thursday, we shut down the market from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. We make sure that we clean all the environment. In fact, it was the same lama that gave us an award that says we are the cleanest market in Lagos State. Then why would they come back to revise us themselves and say that we are dead? I have sent the videos to them. I uploaded it and said to them that they should come and see things by themselves. 
and they should not judge of first that we are called Alaba. That Alaba is a, a, is a holistic name. Alaba, when you call Alaba, is a holistic name. But it's sectionalized. We have up to 16 sections. So if they want to relate with any section, they will deal with them based on that section because they have their government of their own. They are independent. Thank you very much. So are they still all the 16 sections? In fact, they are still as many as they know. But Even from the record, from the record, electronic section is exempted. We are not among the list of those that they want to sell. Even we call the Loma. Just look at the kind of things that is coming from the brother's mouth. They have a lot of sessions. That means they have started already dividing the Biafra, the Ibus, Lagos. They have a lot of sessions. Look at what is coming out from his mouth. I don't know why Aibu people will not learn. They are Aibus in that market. What is this thing about session? They are supposed to do everything together. It doesn't matter whether this is a session of electronics or session of this or session of that. From the beginning of time, Everything was exposed. Our very leader, Chief Fodmoy Gojuku, told them this from the beginning. They refused to listen. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Our God sent Masinam the Kano, also repeated it, gave them reasons. He also told them in prophecies what is going to happen next and who is going to be the Nigerian president in time to come. And the calamity is that it's going to happen to them. And after that, we also produce a record audio from Shetima, the so-called vice president of today. Why he was planning with the Yoruba man how to destroy Ibos in Lagos and replace them with some other people. We also play that audio, send it to so many people, but that he was refused to learn. Apart from that, we are so called president of today that came into office through bribery, a drug baron. We also posted a record of his wife, video, not even record, video, why she was planning with some people how to destroy Ibos in Lagos State, how to destroy their properties. How to treat them? All those things he both saw it upon that they continue to invest in Lagos State. Don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to say that what happened is right. But the truth is this they saw it coming. Yoruba know, man doesn't like Igbo man. In fact, even the problem we are having with Flannies are caused by Yorubans. That is the truth. From the beginning, go and check the track record and check uh, the history. Why are we brothers cannot list this? What I don't understand. Instead of this man to say the fact, he's there talking on that. Saying session and no session. What do, does he think? He want other of his evil brothers to suffer in the hands of some criminals that call themselves governors in Lagos State, leaders, and I met him who is the architect of everything because he's the one pushing them. I don't get it to that day. I'm telling the truth. He's the one telling Samolu what he's doing today. Samolu was there in the first tenor. He did not treat us like this. Everything happening today is because of Tinibu. That is the truth. But you will not say we did not warn you. Brother, Everything you was clear. Everything was clear. We are not telling you not to build house in Lagos State or any place. Just build the one that if you they say today you are going to lose it, you are going to the, 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 the Budoza it. You will know that it's just a small house, maybe flat, that didn't cost much. Your mansion should be in your hometown if you like and even be a state with the amount you are spending in Lagos. That mansion 
300 millions, 400 millions, 500 millions, 100 millions, millions. c'est enough to build some free estate. With some few flats inside duplex inside the place, or houses flats inside the places. You can see all these houses now. But you, as Ibo man, you did not respect what Nandi Kalo said because you are too pompous. You feel that somehow it will change your past mind. No matter what you do in life, someone who did not like you will never like you. That is the truth. He saw how Ibo was massacred in Lagos State because of governorship election. Some people are saying it's because of the governorship election. Some are saying it's because of Obi. But this is all lies. They only look for a way to put hand to cause mayhem on you. The truth is that this thing was planned several years ago. I don't know they can make you to understand this. That time that this will come. But refuse to listen. Time is still here. Start locating. Take your mansions, your head offices, partible land. Use this power that you are using to establish a Lagos state, to develop Lagos state. Use that power and develop your land. Use that power and force your governors to do support for you if they refuse. Everybody should mount center on the road of Ibo land. No governor will pass. Let us see how the soldiers will have the capacity to kill anybody. The seaport is built there. The international port is built there. That is what a man is all about. Now the Calon has done everything for you, but he refused to listen. Rather, all what you people did was so betray him. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We can no longer threat what is happening. But if people want to remain as Yoruba, Citizen, it can go ahead. Time will come if people don't take time. The Igbos living in Igbo land will disown you because some of you are the ones bringing problem to them. Any governor that raises his head to do something good for them, one full animal will come out and say they are trying to oppress us. They will give you a quick notice. The governor will stop and Ah, Igbos will say I'm the cause. For that reason, he will forget what he want to do and started doing that. Thing. The same thing fear they wanted to put in Alice. What? When will all of you grow up? You are causing our problem. I have to open up and tell you face to face. I think I've come to the end of this. Episode. Build a house in Lagos if you want to, but build a small flat. Three bedroom flat with your family and your boys to do your business in case of scarcity. Don't go around building mansions of 400 million. And one idiot, a church card criminal that was sent back from America. He came to Lagos and become governor by Uruguru. He's busy with those your houses. A useless criminal from Peter who could not make any money in Europe because today he's seeing all your money from Biafra land. He believes that he has arrived. You people should grow up. Enough of this nonsense. So many of us have houses in different places, Abidjan, South Africa. When they want to remove your house to give, there is something they want to do there, they will first of all pay compensation. The whole amount to spend that house, you will be taking it back, including extra. But not like that in Lagos. They put those here 400 million half, 500 million half for nothing. And they will still sell the land to another person. And you will see, see that an evil man will come and buy it. What a shame. You people should wake up and sleep. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay, be afraid.